good everybody my name is Jay Fatty. welcome back to another video today I'm gonna show you this cool new feature that's in new time that was added in FL studio 20.9 okay so let's get right into it okay so we have this little loop here we'll just play it real quick just a simple loop shout out cymatics what we're gonna do is double click it and then it's going to pull up the channel settings. We'll go into the waveform. We'll right click that and we'll do edit and time warper. Okay. So now it's going to open it up in new time and we kind of want to pitch this to tempo. So we're going to go over to the tempo information here and left click it. Now I know that this melody is in the 92 BPM. So I can just put that in like so and then hit tempo sync, which I'm already on 92 BPM. So we should, we, we should be good. But if you wanted to sync it to a different tempo, you can do it like that. Now, one of the new features in new time is the shift markers. Okay, so all of these orange markers are called groove markers. This one's the downbeat marker, this green one. But what you can do is you can hold alt on the keyboard and left click any marker and you can make shift markers out of those. So we just did it with that one. And as you can see, it's blue. We're going to do that with all those markers. Okay. Now we have a bunch of shift markers and we can move this knob here and it'll move those shift markers around. And what it does is it stretches those parts of the melody and it can give it a nice vibe. So we're going to spring it about over here somewhere. Now let's listen to it. That sounds pretty dope. This is what it sounded like before. So yeah, you can get some interesting vibes with that. So definitely mess with that. Don't be sleeping on the shift markers that you can now add inside new time. If this video brought you value, please leave a like, hit subscribe, and hit that little bell. Make sure you stay safe, stay striving, and always be getting it. Much love, y'all. Peace.